Hi, precious heart, thank you for joining us for our weekly vlog. The light of God is now flowing through humanity's fully restored, immortal, victorious, threefold heart flame in frequencies that we have not been able to withstand since we were first breathed forth from the heart of our Father Mother God. This light is empowering every person's I Am Presence in new ways that are allowing us to transcend the chaos of the outer world if we choose to do so. We have been told by the beings of light that the purging process we are all experiencing is a necessary part of our ascension process. However, the degree of pain and suffering we experience during this process is being determined by how we choose to respond to the events occurring in our individual and collective lives. Awakening humanity is aware of this fact, and our I Am Presence is able to guide us intuitively in ways that are helping us to transcend the chaos and to effectively transmute the surfacing human miscreations by invoking the violet flame. Unfortunately, our sisters and brothers who are suffering the most are oblivious of their I Am Presence and our Father Mother God's gift of the violet flame. That is exactly why you and I are now being called to redouble our efforts on their behalf. We are one with all of our sisters and brothers. And as we are lifted up, they will be lifted up with us. As this occurs, they will gradually be able to hear the inner guidance of their I Am Presence. They will then awaken from their deep, deep sleep. And once again, remember who they are and why they are on earth during this auspicious time. As we step back and observe the outer world as an objective observer, we can easily witness events that reflect the obsolete consciousness of separation and duality. People everywhere are acting out of their fear-based beliefs that reflect an us-against-them consciousness. This is causing a major part of the chaos that is manifesting at this time, and it is greatly exacerbating humanity's pain and suffering. Nowhere is this delusion of us-against-them more obvious than in the United States of America. In communicating with people, it is as though we live on two diametrically opposed planets. This is not surprising when we remember what the United States of America represents. Everything that conflicts with the USA's purpose and reason for being is being perpetuated in the outer world by those who are committed to manifesting the status quo and maintaining their ability to abuse power. This is a futile effort, but it is causing incredible pain and suffering. In spite of all the nefarious efforts, we are moving forward in the light, and there is no turning back. We have been told by the beings of light in the realms of illumined truth that a critical factor in Earth's ascension process is for the United States of America to fulfill 
her divine destiny. The immaculate concept of the divine plan for the USA was co-created in the realms of cause through the I Am Presences of our Founding Fathers. This facet of the divine plan for the USA was victoriously accomplished in spite of the fact that our Founding Fathers were flawed human beings, as were most of humanity at that time. The Immaculate Concept for the Divine Plan for the United States of America is documented in the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution. The divine intent of these documents was to guide the behavior of American citizens in the most positive way. The divine plan was for America to model to the rest of the people on the planet a higher order of being, a new world that would heal the illusion of separation and demonstrate to the masses of humanity the oneness of the family of humanity. The plan was that within the consciousness of oneness, we would revel in our diversities and collectively make decisions that take actions that reflect only the highest good for all concerned. The name America is an anagram for the I am race. The divine intent of this name is to represent a race of God-conscious people comprised of all races, all nationalities, all cultures, all religions, all creeds, and all lifestyles. The I Am race was intended to represent the family of humanity functioning within the full embrace of our I Am Presences, demonstrating oneness, divine love, and reverence for all life. Needless to say, with the manipulation of our fragmented and fear-based human egos, we have fallen far from the fulfillment of that divine plan. Today, however, the Company of Heaven wants us to know that in spite of outer world appearances, those patterns of perfection are still pulsating in all of their resplendent glory in the realms of cause. And they have been encoded in the new record keeper crystals that have been placed in Mother Earth's crystal grid system by the mighty Elohim. Now they are awaiting the opportunity to be tangibly drawn into the world of form with every thought, feeling, word, and action we express through our unified and fully restored heart flames. The Company of Heaven is now revealing that with the activation of humanity's 12 fifth dimensional crystalline solar strands of DNA. Our fully restored immortal victorious threefold flame, the presence of unity consciousness, now pulsating in every person's heart, and the new patterns of perfection for divine government that are being released through the new Record Keeper crystals in Mother Earth's crystal grid system. The mass consciousness of humanity has been elevated to a brand new level. This is allowing the I Am presence of every person to more effectively reveal as an intuitive inner knowing the perfection patterns of divine government. The divine intent of this facet of the divine plan is to inspire lightworkers around the world 
to accept responsibility for empowering the new patterns for divine government, thus manifesting them into physical manifestation during this critical time in Earth's ascension process. These patterns contain not only the heart-based patterns for divine government, which is a government of the I Am Presence, by the I Am Presence, and for the I Am Presence of every man, woman, and child. They also contain the viable solutions to all of the maladies manifesting on earth as a result of the abuses inflicted on humanity, the elemental kingdom, and Mother Earth through greed, selfishness, corruption, fear, and the abuse of power. As the new patterns of divine government flow through the heart flames and into the conscious minds of awakening humanity, everything that conflicts with those patterns will be pushed to the surface to be healed and transmuted into light. In order for the new patterns of divine government to tangibly manifest, all that is hidden must now be revealed. This will be a confusing and painful process for millions of people. However, you and I and the rest of awakening humanity have been preparing for myriad lifetimes to be able to stay focused on the light and the patterns of perfection for divine government during this purging process. We all have the ability to transcend the chaos in the outer world no matter what adversity may confront us. The key to our success will be focusing on the light and monitoring our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions no matter what country we abide in. If anything we are expressing reflects an us-against-them consciousness or a fear-based or hateful response, then we will know that we have become part of the problem instead of the solution. With this awareness, we can make the necessary course corrections in our behavior. Dear one, contemplate this information this week. Your I Am Presence is awaiting the opportunity to manifest the patterns of perfection for divine government through you. Remember, the light of God is always victorious. And you are that light. Our victory is assured, and the need of the hour is for all of us to keep on keeping on. God bless you. I look forward to being with you next week. Mm -hmm.